Hi, and I'm here to talk about the five mistakes people make when collecting data for survey applications. How do I know? Because I'm normally helping people sort their problems out on site, and these are the five mistakes they make when collecting data. So number one, they rush it. Drones are a fast and efficient way of collecting data. There's no need to rush on site to get in the job done quicker. Take your time, make sure that the data is good quality, and then you'll be fine. If you start off with rubbish in the data collection side, it's only gonna get worse as you go through the processing. Number two, check your data. This is one thing which I've known a lot of survey businesses do. They'll go to site, they'll collect some data, and they'll wait till they get back to the office to check it, and they might realize that, for example, the data's overexposed, which we can't do too much about. So just by taking that five minutes out after collecting data or after your first flight, just to have a flick through the images, make sure that they're good quality. That will save return journeys and will produce a much better data set at the end. Number three, flight planning. Set up the job accustomed to the spec you're working to. So as a good rule of thumb, we like to say that the accuracy of a job will be one to three times the GSD. So if you know that you're working within that, um, that tolerance, then to set up the GSD at about 1.5 centimetres is a good route to go down. So typically speaking on a Phantom 4 RTK, that might be flying around 55 metres. And if you're using something like the M300 with the P1 camera, you could probably push that up to around 100 metres. So always set up the job accustomed to the spec you're working to. Number four is get to know your tool, get to know your drone and the sensor and its capabilities. That way you can use it to the best of its ability. Um, take it, look at, use it, look at the instructions, look at the online content we produce at Copters. That way when you enter the field and you're using it, you will know how to fix problems yourself, how to counteract against any issues you come across and you'll be a much more rounded individual and to how to collect good quality data, which is the most important thing is what we're looking at. I always say if there's an opportunity or a work scope which will allow you to use a drone, you should use it. Drones are a fantastic tool to use within the industry and it's only going to get bigger and better. If you want to see how drone data can look, then please follow me on LinkedIn at jamespick at copters.